So in our last session, we actually went over your stance. Let's go ahead and get into our stance. No matter what your strong side stance is, you go ahead and get there. Now, once again, my strong stance is my left fighting stance. That means my left foot is in the front, my strong arm, which is my right side, is gonna go in the back along with that same side leg. So, our stance is here. Hands are high, elbows anchored toward the rib cage as tight as we can, chin down, shoulders up. My front toe is in line with my back heel. And once again, closing those fists as tight as we can. And that's our stance. So what are we actually going to be learning in this lesson number two? Lesson number two, we're actually going to be going over your first two punches, which are both your straight punches. That would be your jab and your cross. So let's get into it. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the punch first and then I'm gonna break it down from there. The first punch that I'm gonna teach you is your jab. Your jab is characterized by always being your front hand straight punch, no matter what stance you're in. So, if it's my front hand straight punch, what hand, if I were in my left fighting stance, my left foot's in the front, left side's in the front, front hand straight punch, what would be the hand that I'm punching this jab out with my left hand. So if I were to switch, what do you think now my jab hand would be? That's right, my right hand. Okay, so let me go ahead and throw this punch out for you guys so that you can see, and then from there I'm gonna break it down. This is your jab punch, your jab. So hands are up, we're in our stance, Back toe is up off the ground so that we have momentum moving forward and back once we start moving our feet. I'm going to throw this jab out. Now, if you guys notice, I'm also breathing out. That's very, very important moving forward. With every single punch that you guys are going to be doing, I want to hear that breath. Exhale. It can be any kind of noise that you want. I don't care. Um, normally, I just do a, a breath out or I make an Xing sound because we want to tighten our stomach up. Okay, why do we want to tighten our stomach up when we punch? If we were in an actual situation where we were sparring, we were in a competition, um, etc., we want to make sure that if I punch and another person punches me, that I'm tightening my stomach up so that I don't get my wind knocked out, okay? So I'm teaching you guys the very fundamentals of actually boxing, actually striking up top. So we're not just doing this for working out, I'm actually teaching you guys these real techniques. So make sure you guys exhale when I'm teaching these punches and while you're punching. So once again, hands up. I'm gonna throw this punch again, but I'm gonna start breaking it down. Hands are high, we're in our stance. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hold this punch out for you guys now, and I'm going to explain what the placement of this punch is, and then we're gonna do it together. So our front hand straight, which is our jab. Back in our stance, I'm going to show you first. You can just watch me, or you can try to do it along with me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and extend that jab out. So this is my jab. This is where the placement is. If you guys notice, what my body is doing is I started out pretty squared off to you guys. Not exactly here, but I'm, I'm relaxed in my stance, right? Now, the first characteristic that you notice is that my shoulders are very elongated. Any punch that's going to come from your front side, your shoulders will do this motion. Once again, the motion is that elongated shoulder, right? This is what I call winding, winding your punches winding. Okay, so once again, extending that jab out, that's one of the first characteristics that you notice is that my body turns and rotates. Now, a good pinpoint or example that I like to use with the jab is looking down the barrel of a shotgun. Now, if you've never looked down the barrel of a shotgun, um, it's probably not much of a good example, but um, that's what I'm going to be using a lot, and I want you guys to just imagine that you're looking down down that small circle, and you're looking down that long path, that barrel of the shotgun, and you're trying to see where you're aiming. That's what you're doing with this jab. Now, once again, extending it out. As you can see, I'm touching my shoulder to my cheek. 
You guys can see that. I'm touching my shoulder to my cheek. Okay? My hands are high. My opposite hand is on my temple. My other arm is tucked in here. Right? So this is our position once again. So close those fists real tight. If you can see here, I'm aiming with my first two knuckles. Now you may be wondering why would we aim with our first two knuckles? I thought we hit with our whole fist. Um, that's a very, very big misconception. Um, a lot of times when boxers are punching or hitting a bag, yes, you do pretty much end up using your whole fist, but we don't want to aim and try to land with our whole fist. The reason why is because if you notice, when I close my fist here, um, the only two knuckles that are actually backed up by your whole elbow wrist, your whole forearm, are those first two knuckles, that pointer finger and that middle finger. If you guys can see, my ring finger and my pinky finger are actually off to the side here. Now, those are the fingers that we do not want to aim with. We do not want to punch with first because they will break. Once again, I'm teaching you guys actually how to punch, not just to do a workout. So make sure that you guys really implement these little tiny intricacies. I know it's a lot, but the more that we do this, um, they're going to start coming into place a lot better. So going back into this, aim with those first two knuckles, and that's going to go for every single punch I teach you after this as well. So throwing that jab out, aiming with your first two knuckles, touching that shoulder to your cheek, other hand is high on that temple, and elbow is tucked. Notice what my shoulders do. They elongate, wind up those shoulders. Okay, look down the barrel of the shotgun. And that is your jab. We're going to throw it here in a second for one more little point. Now, a lot of people, when they start punching or when they start learning these punches, and I know you're at home, I can't really watch you, but this is super important to point out if you were doing this at first. Don't try to get power from pulling back or don't try to pull back in general. Now, the biggest reason why we don't do this is because if I were, you guys were my opponent, right? If I were coming at you like this, one, I'm all open for you guys to attack me. And then two, look at what I'm doing. You, you guys can see that I'm about to hit you with this arm, right? That's not very sneaky. We want to be sneaky with our strikes. We want to be tactical. So that's a big no-no. It's a lot of wasted energy backwards rather than who, where our opponent or where our bad um, or target is, right? We want all of our energy to shoot forward. So whenever we're throwing our punches, everything forward, everything forward, no pulling back, everything's going to shoot forward. So with this jab, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push my shoulder out before my fist or the rest of my arm even moves. I want you guys to imagine um, with all of these punches that it's a rock attached to a string, okay? So the string is your arm and your fist is the rock, okay? Whenever that, that tip of that string moves, the rest will move as well, okay? So it's a fluid motion throughout the end, and then the rock is at the very end, okay? So whenever you guys shoot this out, go from your shoulders first. Go from the rest of your body first, not just the arm, okay? We get our power from the rest of our body, not just the strength of our arm. So throwing this out again, there's our jab. There's our jab. There's the jab. Okay, going slow motion. Rotate the shoulders. Notice how I start rotating first. I start throwing that shoulder out first, and there comes the arm. There goes the hand. There goes the fist. Okay. That's the jab. Once again, you're aiming with those first two knuckles. You're exhaling. Okay. Feet don't necessarily have to move. If you feel a slight little turn on the ball of your feet, that's okay. That's fine. Um, when I say that your feet don't have to move, it's just not necessary. So meaning if I were um, sparring with somebody, or if I was in a competition and we're moving around and we're fighting each other and we're sparring with each other, um, on my jab, if I just, and we're really close and I just wanted to plant, okay, I can do that. Okay, if I was gauging up, of course, that's a gauge. If I was gauging back, of course, that's a gauge. Um, but as far as twisting our feet goes, pivoting our actual feet, not in our stance, but pivoting our feet, we don't really have to do that. It's all in our shoulders, our upper body for this one, in our hips. Okay, so I want you guys to go ahead and practice throwing this out for me. Now, if you guys notice, I have my weights here. If you want to get a little workout out of this lesson, go for it. Make sure that you guys close those fists 
around those weights really tight. Me specifically, I'm not going to wear these in this session only because I want you guys to really see how I close my fists, how I throw this punch out without these hand weights being in the way. But if you wanted to get a little workout, a little arm burn out of this, go for it. Go ahead and put those on for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to work this in both of our stances. So if you're like me and you're right-handed, that means you're in your left fighting stance, meaning your left foot is in the front. If you're like me, we're going to do this 20 times. Now, if you're not like me, you stay on your strong side. Don't even move. Don't switch to my side. Just do it on your side first, and then we're going to switch and do it on the opposite side. So no matter what stance you're in, don't worry. We're going to work it on your side as well. All right. So let's throw this out 20 times each side, and then we're going to move on to our cross. So our hands are high, throwing out that jab. Okay, there's the position one more time. Are you ready? Here we go. Counting with me. Exhale, make sure you breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. Great. Two, three, four. Keep breathing. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Let's switch stances. So go ahead and find your opposite stance. Now this isn't your strong stance. This is your opposite stance. So if this isn't your strong side, don't worry about it. We want to get good at both sides and be knowledgeable on what hand, on how to throw that punch on that opposite side. Okay, so hands high. Find your stance. Let's throw it on your opposite side. So let me show you real quick. There's that jab. Right? Okay, let's throw it 20 times. With me, once again, make sure you breathe. Low to those shoulders, look down the barrel of that shotgun. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three. Stay with me. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and 20. Awesome. So now you know your jab. From there, what I'm going to teach you is your cross. This is your second straight punch. After this, your lesson two will be complete. So stay with me, stay focused, keep your learning brain on. Let's get into it. So you know our jab, right? So now I'm going to teach you guys your cross. This is your backhand straight. Now, just like I was explaining with your straight punch, your front side, if I were to switch stances, right, the same thing's gonna happen. It's gonna switch hands. So I'm in my strong stance, which is once again my left fighting stance. My right hand is in the back. That's the hand I'm gonna be using because it's in the back, once again. So because my front hand is always my jab, my backhand straight is always my cross, right? So if I were to switch, Great question, if I were to switch, which hand would I use? Left, left hand is the money, okay? So, once again, going back to my strong stance, whatever stance is your strong side, you use that side. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Practice what you are good at and what your strong suit is. So practice your strong side. Always want that strong hand in the back, okay? And this is a big reason why, okay? The jab is more of like a feeler punch. Okay, that jab, it's, it's a lot of getting your distance, okay? So if I have a bag or an opponent or a target, whatever it is in front of me, that's getting my distance right. It's feeling out, okay, how close I need to punch, right? Or how close I need to get to get a good strike in. Now the cross, this is a, this is a power punch. This is coming from the backside. This is going to pack some power, okay? So coming from the backside, once again, throwing your cross out. Our hands are high, fists are closed, get in that stance. I'm going to place it out for you guys first to see, just like I did with my jab, and then I'm going to explain the characteristics of it. That's our cross. Bring it back. That's our cross. Bring it back. There's our cross again. Okay? Now, there's a lot of things that you probably noticed with this. Now, the first thing I pointed out with the jab is what we did with our shoulders. I'm going to point out the same thing with our cross. 
Notice how my shoulders this time are squared off here, if you guys would notice, okay? So if you guys were my opponent, which is my case now, I'm looking at you guys, um, I will be facing you guys with my shoulders. As of when I was doing my jab, I was totally sideways here. So this is what you call squaring off your shoulders, okay? We're squaring off our shoulders. Now this is gonna go for every single punch on your backside. So just like I said with the jab, every punch on your front side, your shoulders are gonna do like, uh, like so, right? Now anything on your back side, your shoulders are gonna do like so. They're gonna square off, okay? Now going back, let me explain this cross one more time and show it for you guys one more time. So throwing that cross out right here, right? So here's my cross. Notice once again, my shoulders are pivoted. I'm gonna throw this the exact same way I did my jab. Straight, not pulling back, all my energy is gonna go straight. The only difference is, once again, my shoulders, and if you guys can notice, my back leg. Here's what I was talking about when the feet come in, the pivoting, okay? So this is gonna be the first punch where we actually engage our feet here. This is what you call pivoting with your feet, okay? Now, the reason why we do this is because we're getting our power from the ground up. Once again, we're not just throwing our arm out there, right? I'm not that big of a big of a girl. I don't have super duper huge muscles, right? So I have to get my power from somewhere. And that's from the rest of my body. That's from the ground up. Now, a good explanation or a um, example that I like to use for pivoting your feet is squashing a cockroach or squashing a bug underneath your foot. A lot of people, when I first teach this, they like to go onto their tippy toes like so. We don't want to do this, okay? We want to squash the bug. Okay, if you guys can see here, I'm on the ball of my foot. The ball of my foot. I'm pushing my toes into the ground, so my toes are doing this. Okay, they're getting pulled back here. Okay, and I'm pushing into the ground. Now, once again, the reason why is we're not pushing forward here off the ground, we're digging into the ground with our body. Okay, that way that energy up can shoot forward and then through our punches. So with every single punch, other than that jab, we will be doing this pivoting motion with our feet. The pivot is always gonna happen on the side that you punch on. So if I punch with my right hand, which foot am I gonna pivot? My right foot, okay? So let's go back and do the cross. I'm gonna extend it out for you guys again. Okay, same thing here. I wanna to touch my shoulder to my face, protect that face as much as I can, my chin is down. Notice how my opposite hand now replaced and it went up to my temple, the elbow is tucked. And from here, if you guys can see, my knee is actually slightly bent here, okay? So I'm not extended here. So a lot of misconceptions happen, okay? And then our punches and our face end up going forward like this. We don't wanna do this. We wanna anchor down. We wanna anchor our energy down. Knees bent into the ground and we're pushing into the ground, squashing that bug with our back foot. So if I reset back here, I'm gonna throw that cross out nice and steady, and I squash that bug. And again, and I pivot. And again, and I pivot. Okay, so that's our cross. I'm gonna work it with you here in a second. Um, but once again, let's break this down one last time. That way you guys really have it. If you guys want to practice this with me, once again, go ahead and do it. Take your time. Really watch me. If you have to pause this video, pause the video. Take your time. Really absorb this information. That way you guys really get it. Okay? So, cross. We're out here. Arm is straight. This is a straight punch. I'm touching my shoulder to my cheek. I'm aiming with my what? My first two knuckles. Chin down, eyes forward. Hand on that temple, elbow tucked, knees bent, and I'm pushing into the ground with that back leg, the foot that I'm pivoting. That is my pivot foot, same side as the hand that I am throwing out. This is our cross. All right. So let's go ahead and do it together. We're gonna do it 20 times on both sides. So once again, whatever stance you're in, go ahead and stay there. I'm gonna work the other side here in a second. Get good at your side, and then we'll work the other side together. So here we go. Punching this out 20 times with me. Make sure you, what? Breathe, exhale, every punch, tighten up that stomach. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna pause. I'm 
Notice how I'm keeping this opposite hand on my temple. Elbows tucked. Don't go like this. Watch those elbows, watch those hands. I'm a stickler for that. Make sure you guys really pay attention to the rest of your stance. Okay, here we go. Back to number eight. Eight. Nine. Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Push. Nine. Ten. One. Two, three, four, five. I did an extra five for you guys there. So let's go ahead and move on to that other side. Once again, we're going to do 20, maybe 25, whatever you like. Okay, so here we go. Hands high, pushing off. Once again, that back side, pivot forward, dig that foot into the ground. Here we go. Hands high, pivot. One, two, three, four. Square those shoulders. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, twenty. All right, guys. So I broke down for you guys your jab and your cross. Those are your first two punches. Your both your straight punches. Feel free. Do this lesson again as many times as you need to to really get this technique down. So once again, let me break down these two punches for you: the jab and the cross. In my strong stance, my left fighting stance. Jab, shoulders long, elbows tucked. Looking down the barrel, a shotgun. Body long, hands high. Here we go, and switching to the cross, unwinding those shoulders. So pointing with those first two knuckles. Touching that shoulder to my face, hand high, chin down, knees bent, pushing off, pivoting that foot. We have our winding motion and our unwinding motion. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. I'll see you guys for the next one, lesson number three. See you guys there.